Today, we explain AWS and how it blows the door open for the poor to achieve the American dream. Once you've watched this video, you'll understand first, AWS is an army of computers at your fingertips. Second, AWS makes code at scale permissionless. And lastly, AWS is an enabler of upward mobility. Hi, I'm Dylan. Thanks for joining today. I'm a term away from graduating college, and like most of my peers, I'm on the job hunt. About six months ago, I reached out to a company that I was really interested in, and they told me that if I got some AWS certifications, it would really help my chances. So since then, I've been diving headfirst into AWS, spending half the day on school and the other half on getting a couple of AWS certifications and using it to build my website, GrubGuide. AWS is way bigger than I ever thought, and today I'm going to try to put words to the world-changing, American dream enabling force that is AWS. Let's zoom out for a second and lay some context. The American dream has been central to American identity since the country's founding. There are many ways to define the American dream, but upward mobility is widely used as a measure. Upward mobility is the fraction of children who grow up to earn more than their parents. The Opportunity Insights project out of Harvard has shown that upward mobility in the U.S. has been trending downward since 1940. They attribute the downward trend primarily to changes in the distribution of economic growth. In other words, the rich are getting richer. In order to understand why the American dream is shrinking for the masses and the rich are getting richer, we need to understand leverage. Then we can see how AWS fits into the picture. A key factor in upward mobility is a person's access to leverage. Without it, it's very hard to achieve upward mobility. This is why it's such a big deal when someone is the first to graduate high school or college in their family. It signals they now have an education which they can use to get a higher paying job, have more disposable income, and start engaging in more high leverage activities like investing and buying a house. Leverage is the idea that the effort you put in isn't proportional to what you get out. Leverage isn't new. Over 2,000 years ago, Archimedes remarked, give me a place to stand and a lever long enough and I will move the world. He understood well that in order to make an impact, he needed to focus on the lever he stood on, not how hard he pushed. There are four main types of leverage. Old leverage, which is capital and people. Think of these as the Warren Buffetts of the world. And new leverage, which is code and media. Think of the Steve Jobs and the Joe Rogans. Old and new leverage have a distinct difference when looking through the lens of upward mobility. Old leverage is permissioned and new leverage is permissionless. Permission refers to whether or not you have to ask someone to use it. For instance, capital is permissioned because in order to take out a loan on a house or to start a business, you need to ask someone else for the capital to make that investment. On the other hand, media and code are permissionless. I didn't have to ask anyone if I could make this video or to build my website GrubGuide. It doesn't matter where you come from or who you are, you can make code and media. People with little current wealth have limited access to permission leverage, which makes permissionless leverage types not only exciting, but a straightforward route towards upward mobility in the American dream. This is where AWS comes in. Most people think of Jeff Bezos as the epitome of the 1% and the reason upward mobility is declining for the rest of us. If you're talking about the Amazon store forcing local businesses to fold, there's a case to be made. But AWS, and more generally the cloud, is actually a powerful enabler of upward mobility, and here's why. Before AWS, if you wanted to build a scalable online business that was anything more than a simple website, you had to have a very broad range of skills. Let's take my website GrubGuide as an example. Before AWS, to get it live, I would have needed to know how to build the front end, know how to set up and maintain servers, have a plan in place to buy more servers if my site got traffic, and risk it crashing and losing customers if I couldn't scale. Not to mention the specific knowledge that goes into design, restaurant suggestions, user experience, and more. The reality is that pre-AWS, I would have needed to hire people and make an upfront investment on servers, both things I couldn't afford. Since most people can't front this sort of investment out of their own pockets, code at scale was permissioned leverage. That's when AWS was born and shifted code at scale from permissioned to permissionless leverage. 
AWS at its core gives anyone access to their army of hundreds of thousands of computers at no upfront cost. You can take your code, upload it to AWS, and only pay for the amount of compute you use. They take care of the details, and there's a lot of them, around maintaining the infrastructure that you would have had to deal with. On top of that, there are many tools like security and machine learning features you can add almost immediately that make your code better than it ever would have been on its own. Let me reiterate, you literally have the world's largest army of computers at your fingertips. You don't need to ask anyone to use them. All you need to know is how to communicate with them. You can tell a computer what to do once and have that army repeating the task for you millions of times while you sleep. That is extreme leverage and something any other generation in history could barely fathom. And the fact that it's not just a select few with access to this power, but anyone is even more mind blowing. The cloud gets me fired up because it blows the door open for upward mobility. Anyone can learn this stuff. And once you do, your imagination is the limit on what you can do with it. The stories are all around us. Stripe, Airbnb, Lyft, and so many more have leveraged AWS to grow their business beyond what they ever could have done alone. So what have we learned here? First, we've learned AWS is an army of computers at your fingertips. Second, AWS makes code at scale permissionless. And lastly, AWS is an enabler of upward mobility. If you want to learn more about technology that enables business, start right now by subscribing and clicking the bell so we can grow and learn together. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.